do this anymore. I'm not gonna sit here and carry your load. Nobody wants to carry anyone's load. There's no way I'm gonna make it through the rest of the season with Fraser in a happy place if we're constantly picking up after Jess. All right, I'm gonna go down. All right, hey. There's the list. Mm -hmm. And um, let me talk to you for two seconds. Sure. I've just been trying to have this conversation because at the end of the day, I just have to say that there's like all eyes on you right now. And training day is like over with. It's coming to the point of like a last straw. Everybody's coming to me and being like, oh, you're doing such a great job. And then all of a sudden it's like, no. It's positive reinforcement because sure. it felt for a while okay. like you were just bummed with everything. It's probably just like resting face. <laughs> it's not, yeah. I'm bummed at all. Now I kind of am, but I'll sleep it off and get over it. So future reference, we can't leave all these things on the floor when we leave the cabin. Like, he came in here right away. I know, but even if that's okay. the case, just let's just put all nicely on the bed or something. Okay. I'm just not doing anything properly today, am I? I feel like I'm the only one that gets spoken to, like I'm not pulling all this weight. It can't all just be put on me. Quite frankly, this is the last job I'm ever doing. I'm sorry you feel that way. But if we can try and stay as positive as we can. I think it's also like, I don't really job it with too many people here, so. I can understand why that would be an issue. I just don't like seeing you down. <sighs> she kind of just opened up to me. I tried to tell her that if she tries to see positivity, it will change the perception of what's going on. What's she say? No, no, no. Because she's not getting along with people. Uh, she's just so miserable. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't surprise me. Fraser wants to move up in this industry, and Heather needs a minion. How are you doing? Good. Can you and I have a chat privately? Sure. Let's go down to Tomei's yeah. salon. I really, really wholeheartedly wanted to do this. Yeah. But my body is just shutting down. I could not anticipate how taxing this would be on my system, and my body is just not letting me do it. I'm really sorry, and I hate to put you guys in a bad place. I have to go. I need to leave. Obviously, I wanted to fulfill my end of the bargain. I'm leaving them pretty high and dry, I get it. But at the end of the day, I come first. Are you kidding me? Safe travels and stay in touch, okay? I'm already putting these people in a predicament by leaving. There's only a few hours before they're picking up another charter. Sorry, Heather. So I don't want to make this any bigger than it needs to be. I just kind of want to like get my stuff, get out, and let these people go about their day. Sorry, not sorry. Don't let the passerelle hit you on your ass on the way out. Good morning. How you doing, kiddo? I just woke up to uh, Jessica coming out in her pajamas asking to chat. Ah. She's already walked her sweet ass off the yacht. She didn't okay. even give me 10 seconds. OK. I don't think I've ever had a crew member leave without saying something. Like, bye, go to hell. I did expect more out of Jess than just the silent departure.